And tonight we are tracking Elsa. Just a few minutes ago, we got an advisory in from the National Hurricane Center. A team of meteorologists working for you this weekend, and we start with Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer. Craig. That's right. Well, this evening, Elsa, there's no bad news. Uh, there's a little bit of good news. We're feeling a little bit better because the storm continues to slowly weaken. Now, winds are down to 65 miles an hour. Moving to the west northwest at 17, though. So the wind speed, the intensity of the storm has come down a little bit, but also the storm has slowed. You know, just six hours ago, the storm was moving about 28, 29 miles an hour. So it was zipping along, but now it has kind of uh, run out of that push that was moving it so quickly. So it's slowing down. It means two things. One, when it was moving so quickly, it was creating its own kind of wind shear, which was limiting the strengthening. So now that there's less of that wind shear, less of that limit. Also, Means it's going to be a little bit longer over water here before it reaches land because now that it's slowing down, uh, the travel time is going to take a little bit longer. Here's the latest watches and warnings. Tropical storm warnings for southwest parts of Haiti, all of Jamaica under tropical storm warnings, much of central and eastern Cuba under tropical storm warnings, and a hurricane watch for about the eastern half of Cuba. Tropical storm watches for Havana, as well as Key West and the middle keys, middle and lower keys under that tropical storm watch. Here's the latest forecast track, and of course, we show the cone. That's that white outline there where the center is expected to be two thirds of the time. And the yellow area here, that's the tropical storm conditions uh, based on the National Hurricane Center forecast track. And you can see they uh, kind of sweep into Cuba there. Well, outside of the cone, this is another example of why it doesn't matter if you're inside or outside of the cone. What matters is are you in the tropical storm conditions? So here we are Monday morning. Monday night, Tuesday morning. This is the closest approach to South Florida. What's going to happen is the storm is going to go over land briefly during the morning hours on Monday, probably weaken a little bit, and then is over water. Now, it could strengthen a little bit as it's moving, but it's going to keep moving along. And throughout South Florida, we're going to see probably some pretty squally weather with the worst of the weather in the Keys. As it pulls away, the Tampa area is going to be watching. Does it turn more inland and then stop its strengthening trend? or? Is it going to stay over the water there? That's going to be a big question. Folks all up and down the west coast are watching closely, and then after that, it's on to the northeast. Here's the latest computer forecast in terms of the wind speed probabilities. You can see they're highest in the lower keys. Miami Dade and Broward now in the teens, so we're feeling good here in South Florida. Miami Dade, Broward, the mainland for not getting tropical storm conditions. Through the day today, you can see it's been kind of sputtering, but this evening, a pretty big burst of thunderstorms there. Hurricane hunters have been out this evening taking a look and they're finding that once again it is a little bit weaker out there. Worst of the weather is Monday through Tuesday in South Florida and the Keys. Tropical storm conditions are possible in the middle and lower Keys. Gusty winds of downpours Miami Dade and Broward for Monday and Tuesday. Dave Warren and I will be back in just a little bit with more on our local impacts that's coming up.